I'm Nick Bergmeier with the Help the Hellbender Initiative. In our previous video, we discussed farming and some of the impacts it could have on water quality and hellbender habitat, as well as some of the methods that farmers can use to prevent these issues. Today, we would like to discuss livestock operations. Runoff from livestock operations can cause high nutrient input and sedimentation in streams. However, there are several methods that livestock producers can use to prevent these issues. Today, we are at one of these farms near the Blue River. I am uh, Bob Sautel. We are the landowner here on 60 acres uh, adjacent to uh, Blue River in southern Indiana. Uh, we're part of a Black Angus uh, small herd operation. You can see the, the cows behind us and uh, it keeps us pretty busy. We really participate uh, on a Blue River program protecting a riparian buffer. Riparian simply means adjacent to the river. Uh, what we try and do on our farm, and you'll see here in a few minutes, is we keep ours in a forested state. It is also further protected by uh, a zoning commission called the Blue River Commission, where the first 50 feet uh, are protected from further development. And uh, it's been a very successful program since 1975. When livestock run runoff is, yeah, can really impact a river. Uh, it is so rich in, in nutrients. It's manure, it's nitrogen, it's whatever you're feeding the cows. And whatever you can do to filter that water or delay it getting into the river just means when it hits the river, stream, creek, sinkhole, it's cleaner. And clean water is the secret to wildlife and to our lives also. Uh, we have about 30 uh, Black Angus cows and calves. Uh, we have a fence line, 30 feet, a roadway, then a 50 foot to 100 foot buffer in a natural state. That's one big surface water filter. You throw in tree roots in the last 50 to 100 feet, then you even get some subsurface filtration. So riparian, forested, grass waterways, protected zones are, are just that. They filter the surface water and protect uh, our rivers and streams from getting uh, excess nutrients in them. Uh, cleaner water means healthier wildlife, whether it's an aquatic uh, salamander, whether it's fish. Uh, we just had a bald eagle fly by. Uh, we have otters regularly use this stretch of river. Uh, we have uh, a multitude of freshwater mussels. I believe, if not the most in the state in terms of number of species, we're close to it. Clean water, more wildlife, and on the human side of that, more recreation value. Conservation pays. Uh, it really does. You take care of the land, you take care of the rivers, you take care of the water, then you have, uh, you don't have the expense of trying to provide your farm with all of those things. You can let, with good management, nature do its job. Livestock operations have a large impact on the surrounding environment, especially rivers and streams. Nutrient inputs are one of the leading causes of pollution, especially in places like the Blue River. It's important for conservationists and livestock producers to work together to implement practices like water troughs, riparian buffers, and fencing to reduce pollution. Together, we can make places like the Blue River a better place for all aquatic life, including the hellbender. If you want to learn more about improving water quality, on your livestock operation, visit the links listed here and in the description or contact your local soil and water conservation district.